and welcome. My name is Ryan O'Rourke and in today's demonstration we are covering how to paint a mountain range. Now in the example on either the right or left side of me, I'm not sure which yet, um, you'll notice that among the mountains there's also a night sky full of constellations and stars. And if you're curious as how to paint that and how to render that, please look in the description box of this video. I have a tutorial to that as well and I hope you enjoy both. And that being said, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message here on YouTube in the comments or on my Facebook page, a uh, link again in the description. Thank you for watching. All of that rambling out of the way, let's get into the video. To begin, I'd like to address the tool we will be using today, and that is the palette knife. Most painting instructors, such as Bob Ross or even here on YouTube, Kevin Hill, seem to primarily work with a larger palette knife, using the edge on the far end, and that can render excellent results. However, I like to use a slightly different type of knife and technique. Today we are using a smaller knife. I picked this up at my local Michaels and I think it was actually the cheapest one available. The metal piece here on the end, it has a fair amount of give so you can certainly replace this with a plastic knife if needed. I just wanted to ensure that everyone had a cheap means of obtaining the tools to achieve this process and have a lot of fun with it. Now we begin by lining up our palette knife with an area in which you desire to place a decently hard edge. Mine here is the edge of the mountain. Now we are going to place one edge of our knife on the canvas applying very minimal pressure. At this point, the knife itself shouldn't be touching the canvas, just the paint in between. Then I slowly begin to drag the paint downwards along the edge. As I'm going through this motion, I'm slightly turning the knife to the side that was initially not coming into contact with the painting. Now it is. As I get lower on the mountain, I lose the majority of the pigment on my knife, and I begin to press harder until the blade is scraping on the canvas. Again, pressure is incredibly important. You want to create a gradient of medium, but you don't want to risk ripping the canvas at the same time. This again is another reason why using a knife with a good amount of give is a positive. Using a plastic knife is not a bad thing, especially if you're beginning and you're just practicing with your pressure. So to recap, be gentle at the start and apply more pressure throughout the motion. Start with a single side of the knife and slowly apply to the other side as well. In the example here, I'm trying to create a solid white that then slowly moves down into a cracked effect, eventually dissipating into whatever color the under layer is. I'm just trying to create a gradient, I'm ensuring that the majority of the pigment is at the top, and in terms of pressure again, I'm being very light with it at the top, and then as I get to the bottom, when my knife is running out of paint, I apply more pressure. You can also make use of extra pigment from prior strokes by going back up and dragging the material downwards. I do this a lot. Even though you're not using a brush, I would highly advise playing with the medium and moving it around. You can use the tip of the knife to play with the detail, or you can use the side to drag large portions. Remember, the majority of this mountain, we are painting with the side of our brush. We're dragging it downwards in various angles. Now, I only use white and a little bit of gray paint in this demonstration. However, I highly advise you to be diverse with your colors. Play with them, blend them, interchange them. The more muted colors you can incorporate in the painting, the more realism and depth you can achieve. I just wanted to make sure that this tutorial was as simple and easy to follow as it could be, so I strayed away from the additional pigments. I hope this little explanation aided you in your painting endeavors. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Also. If you try this or something similar, I'd love to see it. So if you feel inclined, send me a message either here or on Facebook with an image or two and I'd love to see them or critique it with you. Um, but really, I, I'd just love to see it. Um, anyways, 
I would just like to reiterate the fact that above all else, when painting mountains with a palette knife, pressure is the most important tool. Understanding when to apply a lot of it and when not to is incredibly crucial and that will lead you to the best results you can achieve. Thank you for watching. Well, we have reached the end of the video and I truly hope you enjoyed and that you've learned something. I hope that you can take even a little piece from this and incorporate it within your art and have some fun with it. Now, all of that being said, if you have any questions regarding the tutorial or you'd like me to critique your work or go through it with you, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'd be very happy to help. And if you want more of an immediate response or you'd like to share a picture of your work, please feel free to add me on Facebook. I have a link in the description of this video and you can add me there, ask me questions, and I'd be incredibly happy to help you and walk you through whatever you are working on. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, A, I'm very happy. B, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. It really does help me grow this little art community and I'm just, I'd be incredibly appreciative if you did. I'm going to release videos weekly and I just hope you have a wonderful day. So take care and again, thank you for watching.